what is up guys modern pioneer with your almost i don't know pretty much final update for the oven before i move on to the smoker which is going to be right beside it so just kind of want to do a quick overview purpose of this video thoughts so far what i like what i don't like I have both of the furnaces going underneath. We're gonna cook some pizzas here in a minute in the top. And then, uh, I actually got, is that light on? I actually got uh, the rotisserie installed down beneath. But anyway, oven really performing well, it really is. Uh, it's very consistent. I can, you know, light my fires and then push the coals to the back, whatnot, and just, it, it cooks things very quickly and thoroughly, so I really gotta watch it. Down here, though, let's talk about this. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about that? So, maybe I'll try and I'll try and explain this but so I installed this solar uh, the solar power and everything out here and then I had the idea well a friend but a friend told me to do uh, rotisserie so then of course my mind my wheel started turning and here we go here you have it but I I'm very pleased with it I had to engineer those rollers over there so basically it disconnects this the reel right here disconnects right here and then that that way we're able to take the chicken out and whatnot and then uh set it prep it and then with our fire and then put it in there and then that piece slides back and forth i'll have to do a more in-depth video you know going over everything and i will but okay in the back just real brief for the oven i put those shut off valves for the heat right there because i do have that vent in the back to control the heat flow if i want to utilize the smoker boy that's really heating that chicken up I better shut it down but i've got that in the back so I can control the smoke direction and flow and I'm gonna put a uh, heat powered fan, one that sits on top of the oven, like your cast iron ovens and just powered by heat. So I'm gonna be directing the, the heat, the smoke to go that way into the chute right there for my smoker. So in short, that's my idea for that. But over here, this is my solar hookup so far for my rotisserie. <clears throat> All it is is a simple, just, you know, 110 volt rotisserie. And it's waterproof, so I don't have to worry about it going bad or anything. A little more exposed than my other electrical pieces. But, um, so the rotisserie plugs into my outlet, which then goes straight to my inverter right there and my inverter uh, then goes in here and powers that's my oven light switch Let's see if I can see yeah anyway I so solar hookup inverter controller control panel and then I've got my battery hookup, which is just a simple 12 volt marine grade, marine grade battery. And I think it, what is it? I don't, I don't remember what it is. I think it's uh, Battleborn. I can put the link in the description. And then I put, uh, I rigged up a fuse just, uh, that's a 175 amp fuse so that if something ever goes awry i'm not going to fry my battery uh it'll stop it there if my control panel doesn't which i don't see that happening 
but regardless and then I put a secondary sensor here so in the event that my battery gets depleted very quickly or you know I'm taxing it too much um, this will actually send out an alarm audibly as well as the control panel to alert me that it is depleting so then that way I can stop whatever I'm doing and figure it out so there's that and then uh, I mean like it's pretty cool because the control panel I can charge my phone it does it very fast and I don't know very pleased with it so then over here this um, then goes from the battery control panel up here I ran the conduit just so it looks clean and then here goes up here and then that's where I haven't finished the conduit but then that goes to my battery so more or less what I would change gosh can't really think of anything off the top of my head because I changed things as I went along so if you've been following me for a while you you you've seen the changes I've made and and you've got my recommendations along the way so I can't really say anything more or less I'm extremely pleased with how it's turned out and if I had to do it again I probably wouldn't but <laughs> I I'd probably do it exactly as it is so anyway appreciate you guys watching and if you got anything leave me a big thumbs up and uh be safe out there